Hey guys, Dynamite647 here and in this video I'll show you how to update your drawing Android head unit. Uh, so first thing you want to do is head over to Google and type in Joing update. Uh, click on the first link and it will take you to the main update area. Uh, basically top to bottom is the latest updates. So here um, I'll be getting the Android. Uh, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to update from Android 5 to 6. And um, <clears throat> there's some more info. Um, you can also check this on the Join forum, which is in the description below, and on XDA as well. So just click here, download the updates, uh, extract them onto your uh, SD card. Uh, make sure the SD card is empty. There's no other files in it. Um, and um, this is what the files look like. So the updates are based on the MCU version you have, which you can find in your unit. So now all you have to do is take your SD card and you make sure you put it in the GPS card slot on the right side like this and it should automatically pick the updates. The external device storage connected. There you go, it's an auto timer. Um, so if you don't do anything it will start automatically checking the package the device is going to reboot blah blah, blah. <clears throat> basically from this point onwards it will do its thing so a couple of things with this update is I want to see if it will retain all the settings all the apps um, and their safe settings the other thing is lately using this unit it's not saving settings for example I don't like the audible touch so every time you touch the screen, it makes a beep sound. Um, you have to, I have to go in setting, turn it off. I want to see if um, it will retain that or not. So let's find out the update is still going. All right guys, so the update is complete. So now when I go to settings about device, you are going to see the new Android version and the MC version has been upgraded as well. It takes about uh, 12 minutes to complete and as you can already tell settings have been changed, the light color and everything else so agree here uh, doo -doo -doo. yes I've already been through all of this it looks like they have a new UI um, it's different than the previous one I had uh, what I'm going to do is use it for a couple of days and then report back how it does. Hey guys, so I've used the unit for a few days now. Um, everything works fine, no issues, um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, the update went smoothly. So if you already, if you have the unit and you're using Android 5.1.1 and you're happy with it, then I would just continue using it. Um, but if you're in my situation where I had to update the head unit because it was giving me some issues I was going to reset it anyways so I thought I would do the uh, <clears throat> uh, software update as well uh, and like I said no issues at all everything works the same as before nothing has been improved I would say uh, you might have noticed um, that I've changed the UI now uh, because I didn't like the previous UI so I've changed it um, and to do that you can just go into so to change the UI you can just go into card settings and uh, then you go here 336 set is the password uh, and then you can go scroll to the bottom keep going they've added a bunch of new options uh, and right here you can see home launcher selection so if you have any questions uh, put it in the comments below um, and uh, I will be doing a more detailed review of the head unit with the new software um, as well. Thanks for watching the video.